May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. October 16, 2023, Monday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called as an apostle, separated for the gospel of God, which he had promised beforehand, through his prophets, in the holy scriptures, about his son, who was made for him from the offspring of David according to the flesh, the Son of God, who was predestined in virtue according to the spirit of sanctification from the resurrection of the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have received grace and apostleship, for the sake of his name, for the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles, from whom you also have been called by Jesus Christ, to all who are at Rome, the beloved of God, called as saints. Grace to you and peace, from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new canticle, because he hath done wonderful things. His right hand hath wrought for him salvation, and his arm is holy. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his justice in the sight of the Gentiles. He has remembered his mercy, his truth toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to God, all the earth, make melody, rejoice and sing. The Lord has made known his salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Then, as the crowds were quickly gathering, he began to say, This generation is a wicked generation, it seeks a sign. But no sign will be given to it, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was a sign to the Ninevites, so also will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up, at the judgment, with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, more than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up, at the judgment, with this generation, and they will condemn it. For at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And behold, more than Jonah is here. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What does it truly mean to live a life of selfless sacrifice and love, following the example of Jesus? This generation is an evil generation, it seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. Luke 11 verses 29 to 30. Do you ever find yourself looking for signs from God? Often when we go through life, navigating through the ups and downs we all experience, we can easily find ourselves looking for signs from God about what we should do about this or that. And though God certainly communicates to us at times through special graces that are signs from heaven, The passage above gives clarity to what sign we must be most attentive to. The simple message in this gospel passage from our Lord is that, we must discover the meaning of the most profound sign ever given, and use that as the foundation of all our decisions in life. Jesus' life, death, and resurrection were not only the source of eternal life, they are also the clearest sign we need, as we make all of our decisions in life. A sign is some action that reveals a deep and hidden mystery. 
One mystery that Jesus' life, death, and resurrection reveals is that, if we are to share in the new life won for us by his cross, then we must follow the example he set, by living a life of selfless sacrifice, laying down our lives for others, so that they will discover and embrace the new life of Christ's resurrection. Practically speaking, if you find yourself looking for answers in life, seeking signs from God about what you should do at times, then turn your eyes to the life of Christ, and ponder ways in which you can more fully imitate his life, in every daily practical decision you make. This is true whether you are discerning some important decision in life, or some small practical decision. It is common to engage in such a discernment, by looking at ourselves in a more selfish way. It's difficult to move away from this line of thinking, but if we are to use the sign of the Son of Man, then we will discern our life decisions very differently. When we use the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord, as the source of our discernment and decision-making in life, then we will end up making decisions that imitate his selfless sacrifice of love. So if you are faced with a decision, you will not ponder what is easier or what you prefer, rather, you will ponder what is more selfless and best for others. What is it that best imitates the sacrificial love of Jesus? Reflect today, upon any decision you are trying to make. Then reflect upon how you are going about this decision. Do you use the witness Jesus gave to us as the foundation of your discernment? Do you reflect upon how you can lay your life down, as a sacrificial gift for others? Do you look at love from the point of view of the cross of our Lord, and strive to imitate his glorious and selfless dedication, to the salvation of those whom he loves? Seek to imitate our Lord, using the witness of his actions as the foundation of all of your discernment and decisions in life, and you will have discovered the only true sign you need, to navigate the challenges of life. Let us pray. My perfect Lord, every decision you made in life, was made out of love, and was in accord with the perfect will of the Father. Give me the grace I need, to make every decision in life in imitation of your perfect example. May my life imitate you, as you laid down your life for others. I choose you in your glorious sacrificial life, as the sign by which I am directed in life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.